Hey everyone, looks like we're live now. I'm Chris. I'm Wendy. Wendy. We're Meeple Overboard, and today we're playing Gizmos. Yes, yes, it might be 1.15 in the morning in Las Vegas. Who cares though? It's really good time in the evening for Australia, so I mean... It's also really good time for our weather because usually it's like 110 degrees outside, so... Yes, and we turn the air conditioning off when we stream, uh, or when we like record and stuff out here. Because Speaking of, did that happen today? Warm. Did what? Did we turn off the air conditioning? Yeah. I mean, I'll check. I think that we did. <laughs> oh, but we did it before, so... Hey. Let's do it again. Air's off. All right, so we're going to play Gizmos. If you're not familiar with Gizmos, this is an excellent mm -hmm. engine-building game by Phil Walker-Harding. One of our favorites. So we're going to go ahead and collect cards over here using... Uh, what are these called? Marbles of different colors to purchase them depending on the cost, and they give a nice little ability. You slot them into the different areas over yonder, um, depending on what you buy. Yep. So uh, if anyone is watching in the chat, please go ahead and let us know if the volume is good. Uh, and if so, we'll start. Wendy got the brown-bordered uh, uh, player aid thing, so she'll be the first player. This is the first edition of the game, which had these like kind of flimsier looking ones of these the second edition had it where it was like double uh double layered oh nice like kind of kind of like how um garfield games does it sometimes well like their boards are not like cut on one side so mm -hmm. yeah so the second edition is nicer which is what you would find now just as a heads up all right so we ready to play no yeah of course let's go <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to pick for my first action i have no special ability so i'm just gonna pick a red out of here okay okay um Ooh, when you pick yellow grass. Mm. That might be what you're going for. Might so. be what I'm going for. You know what? I'll just go for black then with my pick. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and spend my red. And I am going to purchase this one over here, which now upgrades my pick ability. When I pick a yellow, I get one randomly out of the top. Pretty nifty. Well, I'm going to going to go ahead and grab a uh, blue. Ooh, fancy. Now, you could, if you wanted to be a jerk, you could file this one so that I couldn't get it, of course. Because the okay. these are the four actions right here. So pick is to grab the marble. File means to grab one of these cards and stick it face down in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't build right away. You can build in a future turn, but it's less efficient. But we have one gizmo under here, so every time we file, we also get to blind draw a marble out of the top of the dispenser. That we do. That is pretty nifty, but I'm going to go ahead and use my special ability to get two marbles. I got a black and a yellow. So when you pick a yellow, you get to draw out of the top. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to spend the blue to build that thing. Yoink. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and spend my black one. Ooh, some options. I like this one because it could make all the yellows that I collect worth a while. But I also like this one because I get victory points. But I'm going to start with the engine building first. So let's go ahead and take that converter. Yep. This game is laid out so brilliantly and so simply. It's just it's just fantastic in that <laughs> way, right? These are your four actions. These are two little, like, boosts to what you can do. So, um, you know, I could spend a black now. There's no black in the lineup, so it does not behoove me to pick, per se, but I could also get a different color. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab red. Yoink. Back to you, my dear. Works for me. Okay, let's see. What else do I want to do? I'm just going to draw another yellow and one out of the top. Nifty. Now, right now, we have a maximum of five allowed in our little hoop. Take the build action. We are looking the same over here. Doing the same thing, essentially. Adequate minds think alike. There you go. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and one of my yells is a wild. One of my blacks is a wild. I want to go ahead and chase it after black. So I'm going to spend one as a wild blue and then my other blue, and I'm going to get this converter. So game end is once any player hits 16 gizmos total built, including their starter one, or uh, four level three gizmos. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my turn to pick a black marble, and when I pick black, I also get one out of the top. So here I go. It's red. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and take a black and that's all I get okay so I will spend one of my black marbles to build this one so now every time I take a build action I build a red I also get a victory point super nifty I'm gonna spend my black and then my yellow as another black to take this one which means if I pick a yellow or a red I get to pull one from the top now just for clarification 
If I draw a yellow, I get both abilities, right? Mm -hmm. So that's uh, pretty great. Whoo, hi there. Uh, Super nifty. Ooh, oof. That is nifty. That is what I want. Build a single red building and get a lot of like neat stuff out of it. <laughs> so mm, you don't have any marbles though, so I can't. I don't have to worry about you taking it. I might be worried about you reserving it, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to spend a black marble as a wild so that I can buy this blue one. So every time I pick red, I also get to pick one out of the top. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and take a yellow, and I'm going to pick two out of the top. I get two more yellow. How neat is that this? Happened. That if I pick black or red, I get a special ability, and there's no black nor red in the lineup. <laughs> uh, this is what I'll do. I will spend a red to build this one so that in the future, whenever I build a yellow gizmo, I get a victory point. But since this one was a red that I built, I get a victory point now. Very nice. It's very nice indeed. All right, I'm going to go ahead and spend two yellow for this right here. Everything is wild in my book, man. Everything except blue, which we have a lot of. Pretty fancy pants. Ooh, so if I build this, one black counts as two. Um, well, I guess it's about time that I... You know what I'll do? I'm going to file this. So I put this in my file, and I get to pick one out at the top. It's yellow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw a yellow to get two out of the top. Oh my gosh, I just keep getting yellows. I mean, well, there's... But I really want other colors because I can only convert one yellow to one other thing. That's Yeah, I mean, that's true, but there's also, like, a ton of expensive yellows out That's so. true. That is true. So I'll pick black, which then triggers me drawing one out of the top. Yoink. You know what? Maybe I might as well spend the four yellow for this file. I don't really go for file stuff. It's not my favorite because it's not very efficient, but... It's a lot slower, yeah, of a buildup. That was kind of nice. It's good points, though. At the end of the game, we count up all the points in the corner. Um, once we reach 16, once one person reaches 16 gizmos, do you finish the round? Yes. Yep, which okay. is why you have the first player symbol. So I picked a red, meaning I also get to draw one out of the top. And the thing is that I now have five marbles, which is my maximum. There you go. Okay, I definitely want this one, so I'm going to file it, and I get to draw three from the top. You can draw four from the top, baby. Oh, you're right. I get to draw four from the top, and they are all red. Oh, wow. How did that happen? All about the same color. That's, uh... <laughs> I'm not saying that that's cheating or nothing, but... Yowza! <laughs> and we have nothing but a lineup of blue. Eesh. Mm -hmm. Who wants some blue stuff? Okay, so I'm going to spend a black marble to build this converter here. Oh, you know what? Blue, or black can count as any color. Color. Oh no, this one is black. That's what, okay. So yeah, so I'll have spent it. I'll have spent the black to make this one wild. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and draw a blue. Fa oh my gosh! Ooh. And you can even always look up a little bit, and there's nothing but blue in there. Nothing but blue. Nothing. It's like nothing but net, but so much worse. So much worse. <laughs> I will spend this as if it were three yellows. So I could buy this converter. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Thank you. All right, I'm going to spend... Oh, and I built a yellow so I get a victory point chip. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's super nifty. I'm going to spend two reds as two different wilds uh, as blue, and then I'm going to spend another blue to get this one, which increases the... I can have two more in my circle. I can file an additional one, and um, I get a plus two to my searching. Yep. So researching is the one action we haven't shown yet, but when you research, you look at that that number of cards off of the top, and then you can choose one of those to either file or to build. So, In fact, I was like, I should see what I have. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pick a blue. It's back to you. I'm going to spend these two as wild for a yellow, and I'm going to build this one. Very nice. I'm going to pick a blue. <laughs> hmm a black because it's wild for me Ooh, and you just hate me so um i'm gonna spend these three blues to build this gizmo i have so many converters i wish that i had like stronger picky benefits and stuff um i'm gonna go ahead and file this one to draw Ouch. four 
What did I get? Good stuff. Uh, once again, my picks are not in the lineup of things, but I will grab one yellow. Oh, sorry. I, yep, no, we're, we're good. <laughs> All right, that's my that's my whole pick action, so it's back to you. Okay, I'm going to spend two blacks as two reds. I'm going to build this one, and I get to pick one of my choice. Is that what that means? Uh, no. Uh, well, so... You trigger this one. You build a red. Yes. So yeah, you get a you get a pick action. I get a pick action, so I pick yellow, which then lets me get two from the top. And you can hold that many. So on my turn, I will pick black, which does let me also yoink one from the top up there. So that it does. Okay, back to you. Okay, how many more can I hold? I can hold one more. Um, what do I want to buy? Might as well file so you can not pick four of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one actually might be useful for me, so I'm going to spend this. Ooh, but I like this one, too. I'm going to spend this and grab this. So I built a black, which lets me pick one, which I'll just go ahead and make a red. So roll call time. I'm at nine gizmos. Eleven. Whoa, gross. I don't know how you have so many. Well, I mean, because you could file and then grab infinite marbles. So yeah. That's That's got to be pretty nice. It's pretty pretty killer combo. Killer, killer combo. Killer, killer combo. Uh, ouch. Um, I'm going to grab a black marble, which uh, is a picking, allows me to pull one out of the top, and that's another black. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spend these as three yellows and build this one. And that lets me pick one and gain a victory point. So I will then pick a black. Very good. So now I'm at this crossroads where I'm filled up. Uh, I choose. I want to not be filled up, so I'm going to spend one blue to buy this upgrade. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, file this one, which lets me pick four from the top. One, two, three, four. I'm not maxed out yet. I'll pick this back to you. Okay. What do I need? This lineup has not fancied me this game. Yeah. I don't think this will be the game that I beat you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the search action now so I can draw five cards and pick one to either file because I have... No, I don't have any extra file spaces. Right? I mean, so No, yes, I do. Okay. You can file twice. You have one Two, card in your file? Three, four, yep. And you can choose right now whether you're going to build it or file it. Yeah. That's the nice thing about research is that you can look and kind of figure that out for yourself. Um, bum, bum, bum. I want a victory point one. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. So yellows and blacks will give me victory points. And I will spend these three as red. Now you built a red. And so you get the red build benefit. That I do. So I'll go ahead and pick a black. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, it's back to me. So, I will spend this blue to buy this converter. I should be doing so much better than I am. What do I need from this? I need stuff. I need conversions up the wazoo. <laughs> Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I can build three more cards. Three more and that'll trigger the end of the game, yes. That it will. Because I don't think I'm triggering the end of the game. <laughs> no. Um, bum, 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 bum. This is a game that Wendy just excels at. Every time that we play this. Every time Wendy is... I'm going to search again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hey, so everyone. Looks like we're alive ones. now. It's kind of I'm my Chris. Choice. I'm Wendy. Wendy. I guess I can build one of the blacks. Um, yellow. Yellow gives me really good stuff if I build it. I get lots of victory points. So I'm actually going to build this yellow. Two blacks as a yellow. Oh, no. So because I built... <laughs> A yellow, I get to pick one of my choice. I'll make that black, and then I get two victory points. Gross! All my hard one, work. Okay. Okay. I will pick a yellow, and that's my turn. So it's back to you. <laughs> back the, to me. These picking benefits did not work out by having five blues constantly in the lineup. You know? I'm going to search again. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh, no blues in here, so I'm... 
kind of stuck in that regard. Ooh, but this can make blues wild, which I want. So I'm going to file that and draw four from the top. That is a ridiculous card. <laughs> like, especially to get so early. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm right at where I should be. Okay, so um, I will spend... What? Oh, yeah, yeah. So one yellow counts as two yellows. This is a third yellow, and then this one, this black is a wild. So four yellows, and I will build this... Uh, this one here, so I'm no longer allowed to use the research action, like, at all, so. Oh no! Nice. I, I hate, I hate that I just revealed that one, to two, you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That won't quite end the game. Um, I have exactly seven. That is kind of nifty. So this Oops. one is just seven of any colors. And here's the problem is when you build it, it counts as having built literally all of those colors. Which means like fire off each one of these cards. Correct, yeah. Okay. So I get one, two... Wait, this is in the wrong thing. No, no that's what you build from your file. When you build from your file. Oh, correct. I think I've been doing that wrong. I haven't done that. That's okay. So one, two, two picks and two victory points. That's not as bad as I thought. So I'll pick a black and a black. So this gets revealed. Um, I will pick yellow. Okay. Yellow, 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 yellow. I'm going to go ahead and... So does that put me at 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if you build now... If I build now... This will be the end of the game. That's it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a blue and pick from the top. You know, I forgot that I had this. <laughs> I forgot that I had this filed away and I could have built it quite a while ago. Like, quite a while ago. So, whoopsie daisy. Um, it's okay, I've been picking black out of here, forgetting that I bought these two cards. <laughs> so, and, and you get that benefit for literally any color besides black. Yep, and I've just been taking black. Great. <laughs> um, I can't research anymore, so there's... Okay, so you're going to end the game this this next round, I assume. As soon as it's your turn, I will assume that I can do no more. So I might as well just I might as well just do that. Build this one. Yoinky yoink. Okay. Back to you. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and build this one. Can't do anything super fancy. But black is still good. Spend my three. Did you get one get victory point victory out of point. it? And a pick. So I'm going to pick red, which lets me pick two. This and matters only because you get points for how many marbles yeah. you have at so the end of the four game. Points at the end of the game. So then the last thing I'll do is with this one, I'll buy yet another converter because apparently I was the converter man this game. <laughs> so that's it. That's it right there. Oh, hey, uh, I built a yellow, so I get another victory point. So this triggers the end of the game. Um, so let's go ahead and count up points. I'll go first, because I obviously did not do as well as you. <laughs> um, but I did okay, because I got this eight-point thing here. So that's, yeah, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus, uh, 40 plus 6 here, 6, and 3, is 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 points, which is okay. going to be a shadow of what you have. Okay, so 3 times 4 is 12, plus 4 is 18. 16. 16, yep. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. What did I say I had? Like nine points or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Wendy wrecks me at this game on the regular. I like this game because I win it. I don't understand like how Wendy wins so badly. This, this card was so good. Like I can't believe I got this early and how awesome it was. That was that was quite surprising. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Whereas, like, these abilities are not nearly as good. Like, build from your file. Well, this was two. so cheap and affordable, too. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. that's that, I mean... And the thing is that I could, I, I could have looked at that card and said, hey, that could be worth it. You know what I mean? That's the, kind of mm -hmm. my own fault for saying, like, I'm not even worrying about it. I was just trying to build up something here, 
that never ended up quite firing off the way that I wanted it to. I really wanted to build this card so that all my things were wild, like everything was wild, <laughs> but it was going to be my last card. Oh, so. so that didn't quite make sense. Yeah, it didn't quite make sense. It actually might have, though, because I would have drawn two more. I would have uh, built from my file and drawn a couple more. Oh, that's true-ish. Sure. I think it would have been basically a wash. Basic, yeah, basically. Yeah. So that's that's Gizmos. It's it's awesome. We've had this game for two years now. Mm -hmm. uh, we reviewed it two. So one of the things that we do on our YouTube channel or not on our on our, on podcast, our podcast is that we do what's called our hindsight reviews, where we look at games from literally two years back that we reviewed that month two years ago, and then we we kind of see if they're yeah we kind of see if they're still in our collection and if we are still interested in playing them, if we want to keep playing them, just kind of the whole like how we feel about them now that we've grown in our board gaming and changed in our just opinions and tastes really yeah yeah i mean we try to review how replayable a game is but there's no way to tell until years you, later years later kind yeah. of a thing and so this game is highly replayable mm -hmm. even though i get spanked at it and badly it's still really fun you know what i mean like building up this tableau getting an engine that fires off really well and We've never seen this card before, like fire off this way. Yeah, we've never used. I don't. I don't know anybody that's used that card before. Yeah, which but is the thing bizarre. is these uh, these level three cards. You take out twenty of them, and you only keep I think like twenty of them. So you essentially cut it in half every game, and so there may be cards we just have never seen. Yeah. So to this day, and we've played this probably 10, 15 times. Yeah, I mean, and and, and we are a healthy way away from clearing out the level one stack mm -hmm. and the level two stack. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think that the game has a ton of fun variability to it, meaningful variability, where I wanted my engine to be something else, and instead it didn't quite work out. But, you know, I, I could have set myself up better by going for some some more variety of things. And, and I just, I overall really like it. I think it's one of the most clever designs that Phil Walker-Harding has made. Uh, and... It's one of my favorites of his. And that's saying a lot, because mm -hmm. this is the guy who's made Sushi Go and Baron Park and... Uh, uh, the new Cloud City game. Cloud City, that mm -hmm. we have a playthrough of that that's going to be going up here pretty soon. So to to say that this is one of his best games is very high praise from us. It is, it is. He's what, your favorite number two designer? I, yeah, I yeah I say that he's right behind Alexander Pfister as as my favorite. Um, I don't know, I don't, is, I don't know if that's something that you've like... I haven't really thought about my favorite designer, so I don't know. It's very likely that he's in the top couple, though, because I just love his games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think there's a single, like, bad game that he's done. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's really clever. I like it. It's having a card like this where you sacrifice the, one of your actions to get, like, a ton of points. That's the only reason that I had more than eight points this game. <laughs> <laughs> what was your final score? I think it was like twenty seven or something like that, or twenty eight. Yeah, once you hit once you hit thirty, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> game over, game done. Yeah, this is tons of fun. Thanks for watching this play. Yeah, so hopefully uh, we're gonna check this stream and make sure that it worked mm -hmm. and all the audio works and everything like that. We have see if the video cameras look okay. Yeah, we have ways to be able to like ooh transition live, and now you just see like a the, the front shot of us. And, you know, and we can transition back and forth. So this is just a test stream. If it wasn't the highest quality, our apologies or whatever. But uh, we're going to try and try and do these more often. And we'll see if we have to do them at, you know, Australia o'clock in the morning <laughs> here in Las Vegas. But it's uh, when our child's in bed. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 late. But anyway, my name is Chris. I'm Wendy and we're Meeple Overboard. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.